Hello everyone and I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, in this video I will show you how you can uh, create my SQL database and also we will connect this database with my SQL workbench and uh, we will also test our database with uh, run some queries. So let's get started. In management console, uh, you f find the RDS and uh, click on create database. In uh, database create creation method, we will go with the default and the engine type, uh, we will select MySQL. And uh, the version uh, which is available right here is the latest version of uh, my SQL in templates we will go with the free tier and uh, you can see it's by default turned off when we select the free tier because it's not available in uh, free tier in other settings as uh, identifier name I will change it by my own database name so you can create your own name or uh, if you are not you can leave at uh, as a default name uh, master username is uh, admin and the password you must type a strong password and the instance type you can see we have available uh, a single uh, type of uh, configuration because uh, we are uh, creating our database with a free tier and the story section you can see the located uh, storage is by default 20 GBs uh, it's okay for now in the connectivity uh, section uh, leave these uh, two settings as default and uh, this is our default VPC and uh, the public access section you just change your permission as yes because uh, we will uh, access this uh, database through my, uh, our local uh, internet so uh, if you uh, are not able to okay if you scroll down you can see all the settings are set as a default so I am not touching anything now it's time to create our database here you can see on a dashboard uh, the database is in a creating status so uh, I am I will uh, I'm just pausing my video and uh, I will go uh, I will come back with the when the status is in available you can see this uh, the status is right now is in creating so I will come back when it's done so here uh, in status you can see uh, our database has been created and the status is now in available state uh, when you open your database dashboard here you can see in uh, con connectivity and security 
uh, just copy the endpoint because we will use this endpoint as our URL or uh, host name. Now uh, open your my SQL workbench. I will uh, leave uh, the download link for the my SQL workbench in my description, so you can uh, download from here. Now it's time to uh, create a new connection. So simply click on the plus button. Click on the plus button. Name your connection first. This is my new connection name. And the host name, I already told you that the, our endpoint is our host name. So paste your endpoint here. And uh, our username is uh, admin. Now it's time to test our connection or test our database. So uh, if you are facing the uh, error like this, so don't worry, uh, we will fix it and uh, we will fix it by our inbound rule and we will change and uh, if you... Okay, I'm just checking my master username, it's uh, okay, so come back to your connectivity and security and under the security uh, VPC it's uh, default click on that when you just scroll down you can see the inbound rule here and we will change our inbound rule because uh, we are uh, connecting our database through our uh, local uh, network so we will add a new rule and we will call it as uh, all traffics and the uh, source will be anywhere so I am just uh, deleting my previous uh, VPC and uh, save your security and VPC connection and now if you uh, connect your database now now it's uh, it's working okay as you can see the message of uh, successfully connected with our uh, SQL database Now uh, you can see our database, double click on that. Okay, this is uh, our database dashboard of uh, my SQL workbench. Here we will run some queries for test our database. So uh, I already have uh, some queries and uh, I just note, uh, note down on my clipboard and I will also uh, leave uh, these queries on, uh, in my description box so you can uh, uh, copy all the uh, queries from uh, the description and uh, test your database as you can see it's successfully uh, in running
just select and run your query as you can see it's running successfully thank uh, so this is it for this video i uh, hope you guys are enjoying my videos so uh, i just request you to subscribe my channel for uh, more updates and uh, if you like my video please uh, comment down uh, this is my channel so please subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching